Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and tonight I'm going to talk about some tricks um, regarding moving doors and windows from one wall to another. So how this came about is I'm working on a, a new house design right now and we're doing a lot of schemes, you know, this is kind of classic, you start with one, make a little bit of change. So I was wondering, you know, if I like this window scheme, but I really like this plan, what's the easiest way for getting these windows over to this plan? You know, one option is I just select um, this wall and, and just copy and paste that whole wall over and delete that wall and that that works but sometimes it's a little crude so what other options are there? Let's jump over and take a look. Okay, so imagine we have, you know, this window and we got some walls we want to transfer to. One thing we can do is the um, pick up parameters option. So I'm going to click up here on the uh, little eyedropper, uh, click on that window. Now if I select the syringe, I can inject those properties into that window over there. So I've turned this orange window into this blue one. I'm just going to use some keyboard shortcuts. So that's one option. Another option is, now that I've um, absorbed those properties, I could just make a new window in that wall, and that's going to give us the same properties as that original window. Um, what else could we do? We could take this window, go to the window settings, favorites, and save current selection as window. Hit OK. Hit OK. Now we can go to our favorites. I'm going to use my uh, keyboard shortcut there. Double click on that window, and now we place that window in there. So, a couple ways to all get that window in. But what we're really doing there is we're taking a copy of this window and putting it there. What if I really want this window to be in that wall? Not an identical window not this wall replacing this wall I want for whatever reasons this window that wall. Let's look at some ways to do that. Uh, this is a trick that I'm not sure how far back it goes at least version 13 I don't recall it being possible in 11 but I learned about it in 15 so that's what I'm going to show you. So if you take a window take a window I'm going to show you a couple examples and explain how it works. Um, I'm going to take this window I'm going to command D drag it or you could just take it and um, move it, just going to move it into that wall. Now it's not in that wall, it's now in that wall. So to do the same here, I'm going to drag that window over, now it's there. Drag this window over there, now it's there. And I'm going to drag this window over, now it's in that wall. Um, but, watch this, I'm going to drag this window over, and didn't go over. So what's going on there? Let's undo all that. Um, and I'll show you one other thing. So I could also just as well take this window and copy into that wall. So what's happening is if we I'm gonna go right click, turn off clean wall and beam intersections. So those arrows show us the reference line. Uh, so what I guess ArchiCAD can do, and again I didn't know this until two days ago is that if two walls are aligned and the reference lines match, so this reference line, that reference line, I'll just extend it out so you can see perfectly well. Um, if the reference lines are lined up, then you can just move a window along a reference line to another wall. So I've kind of done some trickery here. Uh, this wall and this wall of the same reference line, same position, um, they're just different wall types, but it's still going to work. This wall on this wall, reference line is in the same spot. The wall just has a different relationship. Same here, reference line, reference line. This wall is just, um, close that so you can see, is offset negative six inches from the reference line. So ARCHICAD recognizes these walls being in the same spot, but they are not visually in the same spot. But if we look at this bottom one, if we turn off clean wall intersections, 
these walls look like they're in the same spot. You know, they take up the same, they're in the same uh, location on the screen um, vertically. But if we turn on, or if we show the reference lines, this reference line is on the bottom, this reference line is on the top, which means the walls, reference lines don't align, and therefore the windows can't um, be moved from one wall to the other. Um, and while I've done this nice and easy and clean, just uh, horizontally on the screen, if the walls are angled, that works. Um, and one other trick would be, say you want um, this window in that wall, you know, you can do the trick of eyedropper, place that window in again, that's pretty much fine, but sometimes because of link dimensions or whatever reasons, I'm not going to try and explain those reasons, you want this window in that wall. You could take this wall, bring it over, rotate it, rotate it properly, uh, and then just move that window to that wall and delete it. So there you have it. Um, another case where I could think this is would be potentially really useful is if you are copying, say, uh, a wall of windows from project A to project B, and you want to just grab, say, the how four windows fit together in that wall, but you want to use the other project, because that's where your main project is, you can just copy the wall over and slide the windows into your new project if everything's aligned. So I hope you learned a cool new trick in ArchiCAD, and um, talk to you guys soon. Thanks.